Okay, is it time for the quick MLP vlog? Woohoo. Go, oh, um, okay, uh, I'm the. That's really weird today. I probably won't care too much about this one because I don't have a much I lot to care because it's not really not that much. It's not too much to care. Go today we have the Channel Row review written by Nick Confalone. Remember that alternate title thing I bitched about last week and later with Doggy Biscuit over on Little Pet Shop Vlog. Apparently I affected MLP too because this was called Cattle Row and Wreck. I can remember last week, but now it's called this. I'm not as mad because I, I've capped it twice, it's like, I'm just, like, but, and, probably the time it's more Now I get the cattle row part, at least, but the cattle row really is six more of the episode. I'm trying to get confident on it back, so, I don't care. Anyway, so, this episode, Remember you was opening up uh, another boutique this time in Manhattan and basically her friend got to help her get it ready and find a lot of problems that pop up like a dance thing club being up there and, um, um, and a bunch of other stuff that get in the way. But the interesting thing about this episode is that all basically told in flashback like apparently the person came to do a review and they all told that reviewer the story of how everything all turned out, and at the start of the episode, they are reading that review, which we count the meeting the reviewer had with them, and that how we have going to sort of point together and start off with them going to read that review. Then it showed a little, little interview that they did with that reviewer, flanked in with the main story. It's actually very unique, and but I got a lot, I wasn't aware what was going on. Cause it goes to human time to then to that main story boutique. I'm like, okay, well, what's going on with the pregnant? Um, eventually I caught on, but um, got a lot of pride of paying a hundred percent to bring up one or two things. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, but eventually I figured it out. But it could, that's the most unique thing about the camp, could definitely be format, which doesn't lead to you know a lot of interesting jokes, guys. Because there are clips of them in the interview again. I can't show them do that. I think this is. But, um, but the main story is big nothing too special in terms of like the moral and stuff. It's like they're trying to make everything all perfect and they learn that, hey, they need to all be perfect and whatever. Help a friend, yada yada yada, you know. And then they get some help from people, blah blah blah. Yeah, but I. And yeah, that we have seen that before. They didn't point out they've done stuff in order to it before. You've had Ray Tink Manhattan, and then if we can't be a boutique, can't talk. If they point out, they point out, we'll get a boutique here. Um, think of continuity. Too many Pinkie Pie get a reference out of nowhere, and that was pretty funny. And uh, but what gets the fun part is the format, and again, and a lot of jokes, it's like, you know, we've seen the capping before, but, you know, we'll get a joke by you, are pretty interesting. Uh, look at the part where thinking like, well, where do you, where do you do, and then we devil and angel hitting that up here, and that, I love that. Too bad, it's not running go joke, I love the fake you did one, but I think I can make the joke on that funny if you get one. Again, like, we'll remember in fun job of death, don't, that, I don't know if I get more ones in the episode, but shorter one. But still, it, it's great. Um, and here too. And I think a lot of our chicken being mom. Yeah, we have this guy, daughter, pitching a bunch of ideas. And, uh, you know, it's a funny joke of that too. Thinking of being youthful there. It's not that I can like, review too hard because it's not like a lot. It's very joke heavy and, you know, tend to be. Again, the more pretty simple we seen that kind of thing before, and it's not like we have a it's not even sort of like a like this similar type of thing we, you know, with the other rarity, or other rarity episodes, but the format and the drill kind of make this more unique. So, if you find it, you part to be funny and interesting when you like it, but if you don't think it quite well, then you'll think it's blending in. In a way, it kind of does. I don't know if I'll remember this like I do of the other rarity kind of go, you know, writing right Manhattan, Tink, and a few other things. But no, you know, a lot of Manhattan, I've noticed it. It's cool, but it's like, maybe give them some hookings. 
become a dragon land. That was cool. So, you know, in general, this was a pretty. In general, in general, the crowd was pretty good. You know, so like, again, moral and main type thing have been kind of unfolded. Kind of pretty unique format. Bang for a lot of good jokes. You know, Twilight um coming up with a beat to me too. Yeah, they all start to do it and they come over. It got a bit more rarely big until from when they're about to read the reviews. You get no spoilers or something like that. That clip could be everywhere. That's gonna be but. We're going like one like Mimi clip, and, you know, and that's gonna be it. Um, if who knows, I like probably be of what becomes the big meme. Um, that could be it. I, I probably, I don't know. I haven't read any reaction yet. Some kind of I do, like Cartoon Tail I did. Uh, but I'll, I'll read the tweet while I'm watching the episode, so. But, you know, that's one. Like, when I started, like, it's now 11.25 right now, so. I started watching the episode right about the end. So, I, I actually, hey, I got up at, like, I got up, yeah, I probably about to start, but I'm like, I just got up, I have no time to get ready, so, ready, yeah. <laughs> and when I'm done with V2, it might go back to bed, and actually, no, I, I'm, a, I went to bed relatively early, well, typically, about 4 a.m. early, <laughs> early for me. Um, <laughs> but, now I'm rambling about my sleep schedule, I think that's all I need to get it. Pretty simple and again, you thing, but again, we got a lot of good jokes. It's quite entertaining. DJ Pong Free mentioned again. Again, quickly mentioned. Like, by name. Well, that's cool. Uh, as far as Nick Consulate can go. Again, I think about on par with No Skeck and Branson, but not quite good. Poops are heartbreaking, but, you know, he do have cool, but I do have a nice, cute little more being able to also be pretty, pretty funny. I've been that. And this kind of thing got to take out for a while. A little more dramatic, but I had a funny moment as well. But, has he done that for a while again? I don't think he has, so. In Mel P, he done a little bit drop. I think two of them got to go. Oh, yeah. Um, but there you go. That is a kind of row review. Kind of shorter review. <laughs> it's a kind of review review. <laughs> anyway, go, so, yeah. It's short. Kind of like cliche ish, but unique format and good joke. Q ending, and you know, dumb alternate title. But I don't read the title, it fits more. I like the reference. Yeah, I like part of it. You know, <laughs> but like, yeah, I guess you can blame Jay for the one. <laughs> I don't know, joking, I make about the alternate title. But my OP fan can know what it's like. Go, so there you go. So, for next week for Pony, we have Applejack Day off. Yeah, I'm getting a quote. Unless we get rid of that. But I love that they kept the quote again. So, uh, yeah, I'll get called to you for then. Again, how whole lot to get out of this one. So, I'll see you for the little pet shop vlog, and maybe I'll come more K. We shall see.